Now, friends, if you want to watch something messy, this is going to be the one for you. <laughs> if you guys are new here, my name is Ashley, and this is My Sweet Perspective, where I give my take on all things TV and movie related, and I'm here to put you on, okay? And I am back to talk about a brand new reality TV show. I don't know. I wanted to call it a docuseries, a reality TV show, honey, that aired on Peacock called the McBee Dynasty Real American Cowboys. Now, immediately as the show opens, you are going to be like, is this Yellowstone or not? Nah? Okay. That's what you're going to be. The similarities. Okay. Let me just start out first. If you haven't watched it yet, I don't want to spoil anything for you. So I'm, and I'm about to do a little few spoilers. Okay. A little few spoilers because they released the whole 10 episode season all at one time. So you can binge it. But when I tell you it's messy, it's messy. So what I'm going to do is go through each of the, the family members, okay, um, and kind of give you a brief synopsis of what happened this season uh, and why I'm already ready for a season two and how I think it absolutely correlates to Yellowstone. So let's start with that. Okay, so you know how in Yellowstone you have Mr. Dutton, right? He's the head of the family and he's determining who's going to take over when he retires or when he's no longer able to run it, right? Same exact uh, same exact premise. Big Daddy Steve is running it and he's got the young boys in competition on who's going to take it over. Okay. We have that. We also have, remember how Mr. Dutton wouldn't let old girl stay at the house overnight after they got Bucky naked. Same with Big Daddy Steve. He don't want nobody to stay. He don't want nobody to stay more than two days at his house. AKA the Russian princess can't stay more than two days at his house. Okay. Um, again, they're working the land. They're doing all the things. The family, the town hates them as the family. Uh, and in my TikTok comments, it's evident, honey, they do not like this family. They don't like this family, but the family didn't bother me. Like I said, it just gave messy. So let's meet the people. Let's meet the family. So we have big daddy, Steve, who's the patriarch of this family. Okay. Um, he's got his own mind. Can't nobody tell him what to do. Um, he's always taking chances, always making big deals. And he's got some big deals on the table currently. Okay. Then you have Steve Jr. Who was, I guess, on the show, Joe Millionaire, which was like a reality dating show, honey. I didn't watch it. But he and his curling current get girlfriend, Kala, Kayla, Kala, something like that, um, met there and they've been on and off for years. Um, and he has like an MBA. He runs the business, okay, of the McBees. That's that's his thing. Brayden was barely there in the episode. Brayden lives with his mama, honey. He said, me and my daddy, not that close. I, me and my mama roll together, Okay. So we don't really see him much of at all. Okay. Then we have Jesse, who's the fine one. Okay. Um, and Jesse to me is probably the most stand up of them all. He seems like he has his own mind. I will say though, he has been with his girlfriend for 10 years, but by the end of this season, he does propose, but he seems like a nice guy. He doesn't have the other battles. These other guys seem to have Cole is the youngest or not the youngest, but the second to youngest. Uh, and he's, I guess, most like Big Daddy Steve than anybody else is, honey. He got another super long-term girlfriend, um, honey, that he didn't even want to call his girlfriend. He get that from his daddy. So basically, Big Daddy Steve got married when he was 20, okay? Had his family with his first wife. But apparently, for whatever reason, this marriage ruined him for women, for marriage going forward. In addition, we find out later in the episode that it's potentially some mother issues. Allegedly, his mother put him out when he was 20. 12 years old um, because a fortune teller told her that he was going to bring her nothing but trouble. Okay. Um, and so that's kind of his story. When I tell you he's got pros in different area codes, he said he don't want marriage. Uh, he, he don't want any of it. He just wants somebody to lay up under and go home when they need to go home. So on this season, he has the Russian princess who's making all the big deals. There's a $106 million deal on the table currently. Okay. And she, Russian princess is the one that's, that's going to make that happen. Okay. So we need to hold her tight. We need to hold her close is, is what his thoughts are. But again, he's even told her I'm not for marriage. You're not the only one I'm seeing. It is what it is, honey. Next we have Brooke. They say she's missing side teeth. I didn't see that, but the people are petty online. Um, it does seem as though Brooke has been through some things in her life. Okay. She's 40 years old. I think Steve is 50 something. Brooke is 40. Galena's more his age appropriate, I think. Brooke, honey, 
uh, I guess is they're serving the body and all that because Steve, Big Daddy Steve is enamored of Brooke, honey. I mean, I think I think Big Daddy Steve paying her bills. OK, um, I think that's what's happening. And then Big Daddy Steve in Nashville got a whole other young girl, a young tenderoni. And when I tell you every time they go out, he's smiling in somebody's face, showing all his back teeth. Big Daddy Steve, you can't hold him down. OK, so basically um, he gets the big, bold idea because they have a bunch of cars. Right. Um, and so I guess one of them, he lets the Russian princess drive. Well, he decides he's going to let Brooke drive it because Brooke needs a car. Tell me why Brooke totaled the car. OK, and so Galena, a.k.a. Russian princess, finds out and it's a wrap. She tells Big Daddy Steve, look, it's her or me. And so we know one hundred and six million dollars on the table. Big Daddy Steve ain't going to say no to her. But he did tell her, you ain't got to repeat nothing for me. Uh, and you'll never make another ultimatum to me. Galena said, whatever, as long as you get it done, I don't care what that looks like. Girl, child, by the end of the season, Galena done managed to move in with him because she doesn't have a place. And he, she, she says she needs to store her stuff, but she ends up storing herself there. And, it, and it's just a mess. She and Brooke have a confrontation. I will say that's the funniest thing. When Brooke says her age, she says, you look more like 53. Brooke, I think, is like 43. Um, Tessa, who has been with the household the whole time working for Big Daddy Steve, she's just kind of a fair weather person. Whoever is on Big Daddy Steve's good side, that's on her good side. Okay. Meanwhile, like I said, Jesse's really unproblematic. He keeps the other guys in line, I feel like. I think both Jesse and Steve Jr. are wanting to be completely different than their dad. They think he's embarrassing. They think the fact that he flirts with all these women and has a woman at home and is doing all this stuff is just not right. But also, they're kind of stunted in their development as it relates to women. You know what I mean? And I think that carries over from Big Daddy Steve. I think Cole will probably live, live in Big Daddy Steve's shadows in that respect, although he seems to be making strides. Y'all, honey, by the end of this season the russian princess doesn't get the deal okay um and so big daddy steve i guess is showing her where she belongs at this point because yeah we need season two because we need to see how all of this is going to shape up but again if you're into messy reality show with a spin it, this is like no other reality show i've seen because this is basically men do male dominated and they're just as messy as women just as messy, honey. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on Peacock Original, the McDeep, the McBee Dynasty, Real American Cowboys. Let me know in the comments below if you've checked it out, what your thoughts are, honey, because I was here. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. We're crushing all of the goals. I just need to get my watch hours up. So, honey, if you got time, go on and click on some of them videos and turn the volume down and just let them play. So your good sis can get get uh, get them watch out. But if you're still here, thank you so much for watching again. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.